If you were to just pick, pick just one initiative that you think has had the most impact on your efforts to improve your organisation's culture, what would it be? Leone, you've had the longest rest in speaking, so I'm going to pick you first. So if there was just one thing that had the most impact, if, what would you say? The one thing for me was, would, would be really focusing on our leadership development. And you spoke about the importance of personal development before. And as part of that, we, um, we, when we just had just recently launched our purpose that I was talking about earlier today, in talking with Mike, our CEO, I, I said to him, if we're really going to get our leaders connected to what it means to help make your world a safer place, we actually have to understand what it's like to be in a place that is anything but safe. So we took our top 70 leaders out to um, the Murrindindi community, which um, was the seat of the Black Saturday bushfires back in 2009. And we had a day of immersion, um, talking to leaders in the community, talking to the CFA, talking to people ha who had been personally impacted and people who had, been, had their businesses destroyed during the fires. And it gave us um, a moment to pause and a moment to really reflect on what it meant to make your world a safer place and what our role was um, in doing that more broadly. But it also importantly gave our leaders an opportunity to work through what is their role going to be in actually creating that for the rest of our organisation. So that would probably be my one thing. Thank you very much. Tony? Look, the simple answer is, um the work we've done around the OCR, and I know that sounds sort of kind of self-serving for a conference like this, but it, it, it worked for us. And I think the, the essence is not so much using the tool, but it's the demonstration and the commitment by senior leaders to do the tool. Because as soon as you introduce something to the organisation, the first question that people have in the back of their minds is, are you going to do this as well? So if you're the CEO and you walk the talk and you make sure that you demonstrate your commitment to really living that sort of journey around personal development, vulnerability, a little bit like Cormac talked about as well, we did a lot of things like that as well. I think those are the things that break down the barriers and people go, well, if everyone else at a senior level is really buying into this, I can kind of see a way of making myself connect with this as well. So that sort of worked well. Thank you. Cormac? Yeah, I, I, would, I would endorse those sentiments. I think the the commitment of the, the CEO and the leadership team is absolutely core to the success and there will be many, many obstacles, there will be many BAU issues that are going to intervene, there will be many times when people want to prioritise, it's spring carnival, you know, we can't do a leadership conference, oh, we can't run that survey now, oh, we don't want to do that now, and you have to be unrelenting, you, you have to, in all circumstances, prioritise the cultural development and the development of the company above the day-to-day -day running of the business. And that is, quite a, that is quite a large intellectual leap to make and to stick to when you're under pressure. 